wired up to other parts of the brain, it's wired up to the spinal cord, and it acts as this sort of gatekeeper that, that in all different situations that you might be experiencing pain, where you might need to change the type of pain that you're experiencing or the magnitude of pain, its role is to control that processing so you can either block it. So the best example would be, you know, the fight or flight response, or in sports, you know, you, you know if you've damaged yourself and broken yourself. Three and a half weeks ago. There you go, that's you, you see, broken collarbone. Broken collarbone, yeah. clean break. Poor guy. So. When I did this yeah. in the context of surfing, and this bone is completely broken, clean broken. Yep, you didn't feel it. I bet. It didn't no. hurt. Exactly. Well, that's your brainstem. So what what's happening there is in that high arousal, high adrenaline, fun, majorly distracted. You know, the goal of you know finishing off the wave. Um, you well, actually down, finished off, or finish off slammed into a sandbank under water, but saving my skin but and getting out skin. of water exactly. before, I, exactly. before I drown. And that's it. It sort of goes back to sort of prehistoric man. You know, if, if a lion's bitten half your leg off, you really don't want to be lying around on the ground crying in agony. So I couldn't afford leg, to feel afford. the pain. Exactly. So this system, which is old, that's why it's old brain, has been built and fine-tuned over the whole of evolution to, in a really powerful way, top-down, block it. So you can make the best decision, which is to get out of there, get out of the water, or again, if a lion's chasing you, get away from the lion so it doesn't kill you. So how, do, how does the brainstem know that that is the circumstances I found myself that's in? A, that's a great question. So I mean, that's sort of what we're trying to unravel with our brain imaging, is to put people into, not scenarios obviously that are surfing inside the scanner, but similar types of things where we'll get them to be you know, distracted or pay attention or change their moods, and we'll find out how the other bits of the brain, the higher order bits, as we call them, the cortical bits, um, the sort of padding bit, how do those bits top down talk to that old part of the brain? Because that's what we think is happening, is that in those different situations of arousal, fight or flight, adrenaline, other bits are sort of like brakes and levers, and they're sort of turning this thing on and off. Mm. And depending on whether they turn it on and off, you can make the pain go completely and block mm. it, or you can make it worse. And the reason we have that is it gives you the maximum flexibility, so that as a behaving organism interacting with the world where things do hurt, you've got the capacity to have, the best way to put it is, you have the pain that's appropriate for the situation you're in right here, right mm. now. And sometimes that situation commands, you don't need to have pain, mm. because you need to get out, otherwise you're going to be killed. Mm. 